I do think that you can aim at aspirations. You can have aspirations that greatly exceed anything you've had before when you have a tool that's this powerful to reduce noise, maintain sharpness, maintain image integrity. It's a very big deal. And frankly, it's a really exciting time to be uh, at the MR scanner console. Aricon DL is now used clinically in sites around the world and Dr. Larry Tannebaum is a radiologist and chief technology officer in Manhattan but has been using this new capability at his practice and while you take a listen to our conversation I'll get out of these scrubs. Uh, Dr. Lawrence Tannebaum it's, uh, it's great to chat to you. Um, you've been using this artificial intelligence for a while now. How have you seen it impacting uh, your patient care? Well, it's interesting. We have been using the AirRecon DL first in the research setting uh, and now in the routine day-to-day -day clinical setting. And I think it has uh, a formidable impact on, on a number of things. Uh, we're focused on the patient experience and uh, we know how challenging it is to be in the MR scanner bore. About 30% of patients who go through an MR examination report real anxiety reactions and a sense of abandonment. So anything we can do to get the patient out of the bore faster is a big deal. And the first thing you notice when you use the Air Recon DL is that your scan times come down quite a bit. How has your uh, observations with the, with the image quality uh, and the improvement of image quality, how have they played out since you've been using it? The, the images have much higher signal to noise, uh, higher contrast to noise, but the most obvious thing is higher spatial resolution, sharper images. And these go over very, very well with all of our readers and the images with their high curb appeal go over very, very well with referring physicians. So by going in there and eliminating the noise, but maintaining the resolution, you can aspire to loftier heights than you could with just conventional image reconstruction techniques for sure. Where are we taking this tool now that we've established that it can be done? What's the, uh, what's the limit? I would venture to say that we haven't seen the limits. We're just beginning to scratch the surface of our imagination. In day-to-day in -day practice, it's very, very hard to avoid getting better um, resolution, getting better signal and contrast to noise, and getting faster scan times. That's easy. It's almost unavoidable. If we take this and put this, put this on a magnet that has not been as, as tightly run, you might see scan time reductions of 75% or more. I don't think that's at all unreasonable. I always tell people when they ask me, you know, how much faster are we going to not look at the percentage change because that's an internal number. Look at the absolute numbers. And you can see that we routinely get our high resolution MSK exams done in less than eight minutes. You know, our more complex exams done in 10 to 12 minutes of cumulative scan time. So uh, imagine the impact that would have on a patient experience who perhaps has been followed up at a place where they were doing 90 minute exam slots. Uh, and, and is this impacting the way that patients are being turned around and treated under COVID? One of the first things you realize when you can accomplish your diagnostic information harvesting in half the time is that there is more time to turn the machine over in the most hygienic fashion without stressing everyone in the facility. So that's really the first piece. The second piece is, is as we come out of COVID uh, and imaging volumes are restoring, we find that we've lost some staff, uh, either through folks who just chosen to retire who are, or a bit fearful for returning to the workplace at this early stage. And uh, we have to be more agile. We have to be able to deal with surges in volume and inconsistencies in staffing. And being more efficient uh, uh, allows us to uh, be more resilient in these circumstances. Eric Condiel is an industry first MRI tech that applies deep learning to MRI data, which is not an easy task. Sheila Washburn is the digital project manager and understands well the process of bringing all this to life. Sheila, in terms of the major obstructions and challenges that you've had to navigate to get where you are today, what have been sort of the ones that stick out? We want to be able to test it across all the different um, anatomies, all the different imaging techniques. And so, you know, it's very important that this is safe and effective and it gives the um, high quality images that our radiologists expect. So just to make sure that we covered all the different use cases, um, all the different scenarios, all the different you know, pathologies, um, that was probably the largest effort um, to make sure that it worked in every, every situation. 
how does it actually work in terms of what the customer should be looking for? I mean, I'm assuming they don't have to replace the MRI scanner to get this. Right, so this is a software feature. So, you know, just upgrading to our latest software will, will get you access to the feature. And it's as simple as a, as a selection on the user interface that you, that you say, hey, I want to turn Air Recon DL on, and, you know, that, that, is, that algorithm is turned on, and then you have these, um, these images with it. What's the holy grail? Um, ideally, you would get a patient in and out of a scanner in, in 10 minutes. Um, in, in, in some cases, you can do that, but not necessarily for the complex exams, like cardiac exams, with very good image quality. Sheila Washburn, thanks for your time today. Brilliant advice. You're welcome. Thanks for talking.